Hello everyone and welcome back. I've been streaming a no kill run of KCD on Twitch just for testing. As spoilers, I ended up killing a few people so far, so it didn't quite work out. I wasn't planning to do anything with it long term, but it ended up being fun so I will finish the run. Uh, just in case someone's interested, I'll upload it on YouTube, with the parts where nothing happens edited out. But don't expect something as highly edited as a Digino series. The run is on hardcore with all negative perks, just like the Digino series and with mostly the same house rules. Henry must be trained in skills before he can start using them, so the same as reading, the exception is skills that he'd already know like drinking. Combat skills are capped based on where in the story we are, up to 5 until previous Labbits, up to 10 until Ulrich is met, and up to 15 until Vranik is entered. After that there's no limits. Armor is restricted based on Henry's defense skill. Up to 5 allows cloth and padded only, up to 10 allows mail, lamellar and light brigandine, up to 15 allows all brigandine and simple plate. Beyond that all armour is allowed. Clothing must be purchased to fit Henry. The exceptions are unique items and versions that can only be found by looting. I'll be doing all side quests available before progressing on the main quests. The first 8 hours or so have been lost unfortunately. But so far I've been to Scallets to get some money and rescued Father Simon on the way. I was still a peasant and will be picking up during the quest to help the Scallets refugees in the Sasa Monastery. Mm, okay, I might have to set off tomorrow. Um, okay, so we need to go and see Father Simon. Yeah, okay, fine. Let's go. It's really urgent and all that. Right, so we've got to make it all the way up to uh, up to Scallops once again. Okay, so we don't have a horse yet. Um, I'm trying not to kill anything. I have to kill animals, unfortunately. Wait, didn't I get... Oh, yes, I did. Okay, so I need to get supplies and stuff like that. Good. And we have to go see Father Simon. Yes, excellent. Unfortunately, unfortunately, the game kind of... Um, it requires us, well, this particular quest requires us to uh, know how to read. It also requires us to be able to craft potions. Wasn't the case like that in the past. Wasn't the case. So we're actually, um, what's his name? No, Nicodemus would actually craft the potions for you. I'm not sure why they got rid of that. But anyway, this is a good excuse to learn how to read. Supposedly Nicodemus taught us how to use herbs. Was it Nicodemus? No, sorry, uh, the herb woman over there. Not fully there she go. Uh, so which means that we can now increase our skill by uh, using it. So yeah, I apply the same house rules as I do with uh, reading skill. Hey, that is a deer. Um, no, I can't afford that. I keep thinking that I'm playing um, the long dark. <laughs> oh, that was hit. Oh my god. <laughs> How the hell? Especially... Hey, oh, that was two hits. Okay, I guess I got two hits. Oh, no more arrows. Okay. Is there a Fletcher in town who sells arrows? I've got money. Is there a Fletcher in town? Oh, you know what? Let's go. Let's just keep going north. Let's go find Father Simon. I should have picked a better target. <laughs> uh, FML. There's a very good chance of uh, finding a, a random NPC versus NPC fight here. Really good chance. But this is the fastest way to get to Skelets. Um, as long as I don't get caught in the middle, I should be fine. But yes, yes, yes. Um, I definitely need to practice my bow skills. Having said that, we need to make sure that what's-his-name survives. So we need to get to Father Simon ASAP. Uh, then we need to come back and... Uh, and also get take care of the guy with the broken leg. Although the guy with the broken leg is not really our business. He is helpful later on, but it's not really that necessary. Mm, should be getting to about 9 p.m. judging by the light. Yeah, usually this is about the time the sun goes down. I think the game is set around in summer. Because if the sun goes down around 8 p.m. or 9 p.m., it's actually quite late. So it must be around summer, right? Which also means that you never get to see any snow or anything like that, so yeah. Uh, to some degree it's a bit of a shame. Father Simon should have made it back here by now. So I did rescue him. Uh, we haven't actually started the main quest, of course. 
He should be around here. There you go. There's Father Simon. Yes, he just sits here. Good day to you. I need help with treatment. Hmm, and what's wrong with you? Oh, nothing. But Philip from Scalitz is dying. He's lying in Sasa and won't last long. Slowly now. What happened to him? Nobody knows much. He's not wounded. But I heard he was hiding from the Cumans for days in a pile of carcasses. The Lord have mercy. The living should never lie with the dead. His intestines must be purged. But even then, he's in God's hands. How do I clean his intestines? It might surprise you, but you'll have to give him alcoholic spirits. The purest you can get your hands on. The best is distilled from Artemisia. It'll make him a bit delirious, but it'll help. I'll show you how to prepare it. May the Lord watch over you. So yeah, it used to be the case of what's his name, Nicodemus would do it for you. But not anymore. A bit disappointing, I have to say. So yeah, I actually did appreciate that Nicodemus would actually do it for you. Oh well. Because from a role-playing perspective, I actually took that as a sign um, that Henry needed to learn to read. But yes, it's uh, nowadays, you have to actually do it yourself. Now the problem is that reading takes X amount of days. I don't know if the clock goes moves forward, right? Because the game says it takes a few days to learn to read. If you go to Ujits now, um, let me do that actually. Let me go to Ujits, learn to read, and we'll see whether what's his name is dead. Because I've never actually tested it. But I want to see if that's the case. Because I actually believe that um, it might not kill Philip of Scalots. Reason being that the game might say, the cutscene might say a few days, but it's not really a few days, is it? Should I also buy a horse? I don't have money actually, I was gonna say, should I buy a horse? But I don't have uh, 500 groschens, I've only got like 380 something. I need to buy some arrows. Anyway, let's go over to Ujits. We can actually use the room over and oh no, I need to buy past Hamburg. That's right, I need to buy past Hamburg. Oh, I can. Uh, I'm just not going to. <laughs> I'm just not going to. And also, um, it might seem kind of pointless to run, but it's kind of important to, well, to getting your vitality up. As you can see, my vitality has gone up a couple of points already. It's kind of important. Oh, speaking of uh, important, food. Give me food. Here's my cabbages. Um, yeah, let me eat this. This is a bit too urgent right now. <coughs> Oh yes, and the raw meat, uh, 89%, so that's gonna go off. That is unfortunately gonna go off, so I have to cook it in this case. I need to buy more arrows. So yes, Henry has to do many things, including learn how to shoot the bow properly, get a better bow, um, and stop hunting roe deers, because roe deers are the worst. Yeah, seriously, roe deers are so difficult to hunt, it's not even funny. Uh, so we need 100 meat. I think boar would be the best way. If I can get a better bowl, then boar is, is the best way to get meat. Ni sasa, that is. Uh, there is also red deer across the monastery. Yeah, they're in the water. But yeah, boar, boar are actually awfully stupid, so yeah, you can actually hunt them much, much more easily. As long as you have a powerful bow, <laughs> which I don't. Um, we're not going to steal a horse yet. And also, technically speaking, according to my role-playing house rules, I don't know how to run, I don't know how to ride. <laughs> Never mind the cutscene where we fled from Scarlet's, right? So yes, this guy needs to, this guy needs to learn his skills first, and then he can, uh, then he can improve them. This should be the quarry, right? Okay, so I need to go up north on the quarry. I need to avoid Hamburg itself. And also. Yeah, we're gonna get to Ujits really late. Hmm, that's gonna be interesting. Where do I sleep in Ujits? I look at the stars. Pretty, pretty little stars. Although, realistically, you should see a massive Milky Way right through the middle. Because that's kind of that's kind of how things look once you learn, once you, once you leave the the light pollution of the city. Ah, uh, here's the quarry. Okay. So yeah, if you ever get a chance to get out of the city and look at the night sky, yeah, do that. It is kind of important. 
Um, so I definitely need to avoid going to Tampa because that will trigger that will trigger what uh, the lady is Stephanie's quest. Okay, so if you go diagonally from here, it should be okay. Maybe you might need to jump. No, no, the hedges. <laughs> Bloody hedges blocking my way. And besides, it doesn't cost that much to actually buy a horse. The cheapest horse is the one you find in Ujits. Goes for 500 gold. But yes, um, stealing a horse is not actually very productive because you always have to go back for it. So I don't like that. But um, if you buy a horse, which is pretty cheap, all things considered, 500 groschen is nothing really. Um, where am I now? Oh, have I. Have I gone too far? I might have gone too far. Where's the castle? Where's the castle? Oh, shit. I've got, I've got way north. That is Ujits over there. That is, we're basically on the road to Ujits. What the hell? Oh, here's the road. Okay, so we definitely, yeah, that's the castle over there. Good. We managed to bypass everything. Now, there is an ambush over there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to skirt this road. If you follow the stream, you can actually find your way relatively easily. Well, it's a bit confusing as far as uh, pathfinding, but if you follow the stream, which is down here, it's something you can follow during during the dark as well. So it's not too bad. And I think you don't get any random encounters with bandits. Although I could be wrong. <laughs> I could be wrong. I don't usually come this way. That's a stream over here. Good. Just need to make sure that you um, know when to turn off. Yeah, so the area around Tambog is actually St. John's Ward Central. There are so many... S Wait, Valerian? Okay. I thought that this flower was Valerian, which is not. This resembles chamomiles, by the way, but it's not. So like I was saying before... I think it was last week. Every flower, every herb in, in KCD that's harvestable actually has an equivalent which is not harvestable. And it's just part of the background. Which is kind of interesting. So that was I thought that was a deliberate choice. So they actually made it so that, you know, there are things that resemble herbs that are not harvestable. Although the game just, you know, giving you a prompt when something is harvestable kind of defeats the purpose, right? Like, say, Valerian, right there. <laughs> yeah, but so I'm not sure that how, how that could have been fixed. Maybe I might make it so that... Yeah, maybe by making it so that the, the prompt only comes up when um, when you've got enough herbalism skill. Oh, what is this? Oh, hello. Interesting sight. Supposedly, there's always loot around every interesting sight. Supposedly. Somebody said that once. If you look carefully around the interesting sites, there's always some kind of chest of some sort. Or some kind of loot. That's a pot. Okay. But to be honest, I'd never bother too much with uh, interesting sites. Mm, let's go around these bushes. Maybe beyond? That's the path. Anyway, where are we? So we should be... Okay, so we're literally there. So we're basically at Ujit. What is this quest? Oh, that is... Oh, uh, that's a night thing quest. Uh, no, we can't afford to do that. No, we can't be doing that. No, no, no taking drugs on the job, you know? <laughs> no taking drugs on the job. Alright, so let's keep going. Um, yeah, there's Ujits. I can, I can literally just see it. And the game has just told us that it's Ujits. Okay, so where do I sleep, though? I think I need to find the shed somewhere. Because it's way too late to actually hire a room. Um, or is it? Let's see, I think. Let's go up this way. Might still have a bit of time. Um, usually the innkeepers and, and, and have mates go to sleep by midnight. Uh, I hope this is the right path. It's a bit difficult to tell in the dark. Uh, no, this is the way. Okay, so people are still out. 
We may still be in time to hire a room. Because I need some arrows. A oh, desert tavern, okay. People are still playing, that's a good sign. Oh no, uh, it's just him. Oh no. Yeah, it's locked. It's locked. Alright, can we sleep uh, near the church? You've got what his name's uh Somehow this is private. I don't understand why it's private. I think that's where the priest, um, you know, waits just to come out and start mass. But still... No, no indulgences. Thank you. Good. Nobody like. Nobody hates me. I was going to say everybody likes me, but I uh, mix it too. Alright, here we go. Um, let me go up the tower. Because it becomes private property later on, but... Oh, it's hard. Okay. I don't have lockpicks, do I? No, I don't have lockpicks either. I don't know how to pick locks. So, technically speaking. Father, let me in. No, I can't do that. <laughs> he won't let me in. Um, there's got to be a bed somewhere around here. Yeah, that's a problem. Um, then there's no free beds, are there? Pillory, yeah, yeah. We could sleep here if we want. I mean, worst case, I can I can let the time pass. It's only like four hours or something. But people, the weird thing about this game is that people get up at like uh, 8 a.m., which is well after dawn. Which is a, a weird thing. Can't go inside, can we? Oh, we, we can. Is there a bed? Oh, usually benches are like a sleepable. Nope. <laughs> Doesn't help us read. Oh, he, oh he's take. He's taking it. Oh, hello. Oh, look at that. With you. Oh, okay. Um. I'd like to learn to read. Fine. We'll just do this. At this time of day, are you right in the head? Come back tomorrow morning. All right. Can I take his bed now? Ah uh ha! -huh. <laughs> uh, this might not work. No, no, he's gonna, he's not gonna let us. He's not gonna let us sleep here. Nope. Can't be serious. <laughs> nope, nope, can't do that. Unfortunately. Yeah, you'll be sorry. All right, all right. Get up. God damn, we just wanted to learn to read. Right, trespassing, don't watch out for trespassing. Because privacy is one thing. Oh, hello. What the hey, Don't push what me inside me, you... <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Ooh. Hey, LFG. Uh, that's some shady bit silly. Well, you know, it's... The inn's closed. I've got to sleep somewhere, man. <laughs> and that was really dangerous. Because if, um, if the bailiff got up, that's the guy who was sleeping in that room. And if he got up... And that was a trespass, by the way, so... What? How is there a thief in the middle of the night? Oh. Let's get on the people's good graces. I'm trying! I'm trying! Hey, hey, hey! What? I can't... can't tackle him. What? That's weird. I should be able to tackle him. Can I tackle this guy? No, it doesn't show up. Him, someone. I'm trying. <laughs> I'm trying. Yeah, I think he's gone now. Stop him, someone. Maybe it's because it's so late. But look at my stamina. I'm running pretty well now. I think Somebody he's gone though. Me. Where is he? I think yeah, he's... What? Oh, he's... Someone. I'm trying. Catch I can't him. see him. Can you see him? Thief! Thief! I'll catch you. Oh, well, forget it. He's gone. I can't catch him. Besides, the prompt wasn't coming up, so... Um, oh, shit. The game... What? Oh no, the game's frozen. Oh shit, the game crashed. Oh shit, I didn't save. F you, game. <laughs> okay, fine. Uh, I guess that means I get my arrows back. <laughs> I 
I guess it means I get my arrows back. Because I tried to shoot roe deer and things didn't go well. Um, so maybe I should go hunting first. Get the 100 meat. Give it to your hunker. Save some for, me, for myself. And then we'll, um, then we'll head off north to, to see what's his name. That ruined everything. Not quite. <laughs> A thief ruined everything, yes. He stole my game, man. He stole my game. Bloody thieves, man. They steal everything. Oh well, so we'll wake up, um, sorry, not wake up, uh, we'll load just outside the monastery, I believe. Oh well, so I guess we do that rewinding noise and we basically end up at the start of the stream because the game died. Although I could go to Ratai and speak to the executioner. Oh, I did, I tried. The prompt wasn't coming up. I don't know why the prompt didn't come up. Usually when you run behind somebody, you get tackled. I did try, but my punching is too shit. Um, that's when the game crashed. <laughs> I was punching when the game crashed. Anyway, we have a bowl. Uh, let's go and poach some game. I think one piggy should be enough. But I don't know where the piggies are. And also, um, the butcher at Sasso needs, uh, well, he wants some meat. And it just happens to be boar meat, so it's a good idea to do that. Um, having said that, my bow is shit, so... It's gonna be a bit difficult, but it is easier to sneak up on the boars than it is on roe deer. Seriously, the hunting quest where they ask you to bring roe deer, they're the worst. Oh yes, I need to tell Fritz as well, I forgot. Those two idiots are still sitting here. That, there, there was a hidden quest where you kind of saw that their, uh, their Welcome, problem. Henry. Put your clothes on, man. Put your textures on. And put your shoes on, what the hell's wrong with you? Uh, e, let's see. Jesus, what have you been up to? Trying to sort your problems, man. About your brawl with Elias. With Elias? Talk to Fritz about that. See you later. Don't you know it's rude to point? <laughs> hey, how'd you get so fucked up? I met you. That's how I got so effed up. About your brawl with Elias. How the fuck do you know about him? Your best friend settled the matter. You're serious? Absolutely. All you have to do is go to him and promise you'll pay the debt somehow. We... We won't forget this. Oh, my honor. Thanks. The problem is that Fritz has no honor. Fritz has no honor. That's the problem. So, on my honor doesn't exactly mean much. There should be a piggy... What, what would you call it? A bathing hole? Anyway, there's a mud hole over here. Um, that's the closest source of piggies. So we could kind of kill two birds with one stone by doing that. And if I can find it. Maybe I need to go a little bit further down. I forget where it is exactly, but there is a piggy. There is a piggy roaming ground here. Somewhere. Ah, here we are. Boar hunting spot. Now where's the boars? Ah, here we are. Let's see. One piggy. Um. Ah, he saw me. Somehow, his ass saw me. Ah. Oh. That is terrible. Yeah, this boy is just too weak. Okay, let me see if I can if I can't pick up that arrow. Cause yeah, you can you can pick up your arrows, and I think I might have actually run out of stamina there. So yeah, once you go once they go into the bushes, there's a good chance that they'll despawn, unfortunately. But yeah, once you ah oh, here we are. Good, 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 good. Now stop, stop running, stop running. Ah, oh, the drop is horrible. Yeah, I might have to just sleep. Yeah, let's just sleep. Do I still have arrows? Yeah, about four. Okay, fine. Unfortunately, early game is a bit difficult. <laughs> yeah, hunting's annoying in the beginning. Later on, it becomes much easier. But you gotta have a powerful bow. Because the problem is two things. One is that the bow sways too much, like this. And secondly, my, my bow is not powerful enough. So yeah. 
Once you get a real powerful bow, things do become a lot easier. Actually, what is my bow skill? Yeah, zero. Okay, let's just go to bed. We're not getting... Oh, uh, I can't even sleep here. There is this bed over here. Yes, it, there is. Okay, fine. Okay, I'll just accept the loss of the, the arrows. It is what it is. Now, it looks like food's gonna be a problem. But we should have plenty of time to get to Scallets and then go up and read. Learn to read. And then we'll come back down by a Ratai and we'll see what happens. So this is a bit of a test. I don't know if it's a good idea to do this. Might well turn out to be nothing, but um, I do want to go up there. Okay, now we're up. Let's go. I guess we'll just go hungry. Eat at Yohanko's house? No, it's okay. It's okay. Uh, I'm playing hardcore, so eating out of the pot is not good. Luckily, it doesn't look like there's any... Oh, there could be a fight. There's a fight! Mm. <laughs> we'll gather mushrooms while they're having a fight to the death over there. So yeah, that's a good chance to loot some bodies, by the way. Let's have a, let's have a bit of a snack while we watch the fight. Now, who's who? Um... This guy looks like he's dead. Yeah, they've kind of gone. They've kind of gone that way. Is this a person? That's a tree. Who is that? Nobody. Oh, Kumon's versus bandits, okay. Well now. Look what's come crawling out from under some Oh. Is that a bandit? I'm out of here. Just in case. That could be a bandit. There, hey retro. You see him? There's the cunt. Hey, what cunt? There ain't no cunt here. Watch out! I see an enemy! Oh, yes, yes, yes. What will happen is that he'll call the guards. <laughs> oh, my God! Watch out, people! There's some bandit there! Yes, yeah, so he's gonna bring the guards. That's something that happens. So it's bandits versus humans, and then the guards will join pretty soon. There's someone there. Hi. Who's there? Nobody. Some, just some guy uh, eating mushrooms. Um, I don't think they've spotted me, but I am disarmed, so. What's going on there? Oh shit! Is he coming this way? No, he's looting. Okay. Come on, guards. Yeah, they're not coming. Well, okay, that's a bit unusual. Maybe that's changed because it used to be the case that you, that guy would definitely bring them over. Okay, that's a bit of a shame. Alright, so let's see. Can I? I can't take this guy's on head on. Definitely can't do that. But maybe I can just... Uh, if the bodies are still there, hopefully things haven't despawned. Oh, they despawned. F you game. Ah, oh, they despawned. My loot. Anyway, we got... Uh, we got a couple of potions. We got a couple of... Uh, yeah, goblets and stuff like that, so... We also got like 100 gold? Yeah, 100 gold right there. Plus a couple of uh, swords and whatnot. So it's not a bad thing. Let's go and read. Let's go learn how to read. I will reload if Philip is dead because this is a bit of a trial. I'll have to get something to eat. I'm starting to get hungry. Ah, yes. Deva. I'm sorry, I'm feeling hungry. <laughs> the meme is alive. So, yes, it's become a bit of a meme that Henry is hungry. And also, my shoes. Oh, I can need to repair my shoes. I need to repair my shoes. Let's see. Aha! Skill up. New level. So, this is why you should always repair your own shoes. Two and level three, we get something. Okay. But yeah, always repair your own stuff. Always. 
And Herbalism 5, by the way. I got Herbalism 4 already. So we're not too far away from Herbalism 5. So yeah, Herbalism goes up pretty quickly. Now, beyond this house, there's a chance of a fight at the crossroads. And again, that's deadly. Yeah, bandits versus bandits. So let's wait for them to just fight each other. I could just run past. Yeah, they may have killed somebody here. I have sneaking. Besides, if I go close to the fight, there's a chance that I'll get uh, sneak skill. Uh, one of them is dead. Yeah, they're very high level fighters. I do not want to mess with them. Oh, there. Okay, one. Oh, shit. One group one. They saw me. Oh, shit. <laughs> this might be the end. This might be the end. Um, hopefully they've given up. Okay, they're slowly walking backwards. Good. Might, be, might get a chance to actually loot the bodies here. Oh yeah, Golden Spurs. No need to run! No need to run. I need to be careful about those guys. Um. Yes, yes, yes. I'm tired of life and all that. <laughs> this is why you you improve your uh, your vitality. Oh shit! <laughs> oh no no no! No! Get in the river! Oh fuck! Yep! <laughs> ah yes. It's so exciting. Okay, all right. Since we're going back there anyway, let me let me kind of cheese. <laughs> ah yes. I should have run. I should have. I should have just looted one guy and just left. But yes. That's a problem, because they've got so much more vitality than I do, that I can't get away from them early on. So anyway, we're back up to the monastery. It is really late, so unfortunately we're going to end up with the same situation as we did before. Hopefully I'll get a chance to save somewhere in, uh, somewhere in uh, Ujits. Okay, no, no random fight here. But yeah, I really did expect uh, the Wayfarer to actually bring, um, bring the guards over. Because that usually happens, and that's really one of the best uh, aspects of the game. Um, I think there's a field down there. Anyway, let's go. Let's just enjoy the wilderness and all that. Yes, the one we've seen several times already. Lol. <laughs> uh, but yeah, that uh, the outskirts of the mines no, leading north to um, leading north to, to Scarlet. They're really dangerous. You end up with the, the highest level random fighters that you can find. So if you really want to get the highest level gear, then go to those places. Okay, so we still only have like 380 uh, groschens. Unfortunately, all the stuff that I looted from the both from both fights just then is gone. It's a bit of a shame. Oh, there's another fight. Okay. Yeah, this, it's likely that it's bandits versus bandits again. Ah, uh, Kumans. Kumans versus bandits, I think. Oh, yeah. Could be guards. Yeah, it looks like he's guards. Um, but if I get close... No, it's actually, it's actually Kumans. So it's bandits versus Kumans. Um, I need to kind of stay a little bit further away. Yeah, yeah, whatever, whatever he said. I think bandits are gonna win. 
because you usually bandits are more high powered. Yep, I think bandits won. Now they're gonna loot the weapons, unfortunately. What the? <laughs> okay, fine. Wait. Shit! <laughs> okay, things are getting exciting all, all of a sudden. Oh shit! <laughs> oh. <laughs> Alright, I need to stop doing this. I need to stop doing this. Alright, you know what? Let's just go. <laughs> Yeah, he shot my hair. <laughs> he shot my hair, the bastard. Unfortunately, I can't get revenge on those bastards just yet. But you just wait. Oh, actually, if I kill no Kumans, I'll never get the Kuman killer perk, will I? Because that Kuman came out of nowhere, seriously. Alright, I'll tell you what. Um, There's going to be random fights everywhere. Yeah, and I just need to stay further back. Oh shit. Okay, so Kumans versus Bandits once again. Um, there's a couple that have... Yep, there's a couple of bodies already. Let me just stay well, well back. Because I can't run away from anybody right now. But yeah, yeah. That's, that's one of the spots where you find uh, the highest level fighters. Alright, so let's see. I'm not hearing any fighting. Yep, okay, so one side won. Hang on. Hmm. Well now, what the f- <laughs> Hell! You son of a bitch. <laughs> Uh, I think I'm gonna be the one screaming here. I can't get through the trees. Okay, he's giving up. <laughs> he's giving up. Okay, he's turned around. Let me see if I can't knock him out. Uh, you know what? No, I won't bother. Let him. Let him go back. Let him just go back in peace. Now, hopefully, the dead corpses haven't uh, despawned. Yeah, there's no way I can tackle that guy. He's way too strong. Hey, who's there? Well, I never oh shit. <laughs> Here we go again. Yeah, they're, they're, they're actually really good at detecting you. But later on, once you get like camouflage 20, they can't touch your ass. Oh shit, I was stuck. Oh look at that, there's a piggy pond. Where am I? <laughs> Where am I? So you can use that to detect where you are, by the way. Um, piggy pond are uh, here. Right, just before the bridge. Oh, hello. Ah, uh, no, you know what? Forget about it. I was going to shoot them, but uh, you know, no chance. Shall we have some poison mushrooms? Nah, not a good idea. Oh, here we are. Okay, so the bodies are still here. Oh my god. Oh my god. Can you believe that? Oh yeah, look at that. This is Cash Central. Okay, so what I'm looking for is um, jackets. There's a unique jacket you can find. The Dark Combat Jacket. 
Oh, mag oh, look at this. This is one of the best swords as well. Uh, is that it? I think it could be. Um, 4, 7, 12. I'll take it and we'll chuck it away if it's not unique. Oh my god. Oh, look at that. Yeah, multiple axes. So yeah, there's also unique items. So you might find like padded quaff, quaffs that are that have different stats. So I'm gonna I'm gonna take anything that I can't buy. Yep, stinger. That's that's probably the best uh, short sword. Oh my god, I'm, I'm actually heavily overloaded as well. <laughs> Look at all these corpses. Cool ones, okay. A lockpick's excellent. What is this? A Lucerne hammer. Um, that's a pole arm. I can't take it. I mean, I can take it, but I can't do anything with it. Golden spurs. That is worth a lot of money. Yep, I'm slow as fuck. <laughs> Alright, there's a there's a house over there, by the way. Um Oh that's actually yeah, let me drop the hammer. So what I just picked up there in terms of just weapons and this and uh, spurs. That is a lot of that is a lot of money right there. This house, yeah. This house we can actually sleep in. Can we actually cook at? Can we actually cook here? No, you can't. Should be a bed? Yes, there is. Okay. Oh, um, there's no chest. There's no chest. Uh, that's a problem. That is a problem. Alright, fine. Um, is there anything I can dump then? Get the heavy stuff. Yeah, shields are really... Yeah, this one can go. 84, so that's decent. Yeah, so that's decent. I'll, 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 lose, I'll, I'll lose those... Uh, I lose those shields and we'll be okay. Okay, so now bread, the cabbage, and the bacon should be okay. So 82 out of 78, that's good. Okay, so worst case scenario, we 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 find those uh, that battle again and we get killed again. <laughs> we'll just be coming back here. But yes, that random battle is so profitable. Can't sprint. So I definitely won't get involved in any fight or anything like that. Now I should be able to move at a... Okay, there's another fight over here. You know what? Let me go around. <laughs> I can't even... I can't even loot anything. I'm just too overloaded, so I can't even loot anything. So I'm just gonna go around. Now the question is, where can I dump it? Um, don't wanna have to go all the way to Scalus to dump it. Can't go into Tamburg, so I might actually... Uh, I might have to... I'm actually just... Just walk all the way to Ujits. Unfortunately, low low camouflage skill means that they can usually see you anyway. The clothing does actually help a lot, by the way. This game has a very good camouflage system. So clothing actually matters in terms of hiding. So if you have some really dark clothes and uh, you've got some you've got a decent camouflage skill, then basically nobody will see you. There's cases where people just, you know, like walk right in front of you and they won't see you. Maybe I should actually buy a horse. Yeah, let, let's buy a horse when we get to Ujis as well. The reason being that there's a special cutscene when you go hunting with uh, hounds. So let's show that off. Many people won't have seen that, but yeah, it is possible to get a special outcome to the hunting quest with hounds. Although it does mean that you have to fight the Kumans. You can't sneak your way through. If there's one thing that I enjoy in this game is dawn and dusk. The lighting, that, 
Well, the simulation of the sunlight was actually was actually done very well, I have to say. So yeah, stuff like that. The sun actually matters in terms of positioning and stuff like that. It's pretty relaxing to play this game, seriously. As long as you're not being, uh, you know, chopped up into pieces. <laughs> okay, so let's go find. Let's go speak to Father Simon now. Uh, there could be a chest in this house over here. Because I don't really want to walk all the way to uh, Ujit, being this over this overloaded. Um, I have stashed a fair bit of loot over in Scarlet's at our old house. No chest? No chest, I guess. So where can I store the stuff then? Okay, Scarlet's is too far away, right? Here is Father Simon. I need help with treatment. Hmm, and help. I'll show you how to prepare it. Farewell. Okay, so we're gonna experiment, but before I do that. Let's go back to this house. Let me save. Because, you know, it took us a while to get up here from Sasa, right? It took us many, many lives. <laughs> took us many, many lives. And many, many, many deaths to come up here. So let me just save. Since I can't seem to store anything anywhere. I'll just sleep for an hour. And who knows, I might actually go sleepwalking and end up in Scarlet's. It can happen. It can definitely happen. Alright. Please sleepwalk. This is the one time where, where sleepwalking is actually useful. Uh, yes, we went sleepwalking! Guess where we are? This is our house in Scarlet's. <laughs> right here. This is perfect. Because I know that, this, that the stuff over here doesn't despawn. Okay, so let me see. Dark combat jacket. Ah, uh, that looks like it could be. Um, I think it is this one. Yeah, it is this one. There's a there's a check there's a cross pattern the 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 other stitching. Yeah, this is this is probably the best jacket you can find. Okay, not gonna say no to that. I shouldn't wear it, or should I? Let's let's not equip it. <laughs> but yeah, that was that was really lucky. That's never happened to me this this well. Usually it's the case that I go to sleep in previous lava and end up here when I don't want to. But yeah, it's uh this time it was useful. Now is there a fight going on? There is, okay. There is. So we might actually get more loot. <laughs> so actually hiding doesn't doesn't make a difference. Yeah, so they're looting now. Yeah, they're looting they're looting weapons. So yeah, unfortunately they made it so that every time you come back to Scarlet's there's a fight over here, over in the yard. And the problem is that it makes you rich too quickly. So once they leave, I'll be able to loot all the bodies. And bloody hell, if I restrict myself from looting armor, but if I looted everything, that that's literally like tens of thousands of Groshen. Yep, they're starting to move out, excellent. Is that a body? Because they've all left. Could be a body, you know. Oh, is, is the guy surrendered? Yeah, he's, oh, he must have been a merchant. He, he, yeah, he's not a warrior, he's a merchant. So he surrendered, he was just crouching, they left him alive. Yep, it was just a merchant. Okay, so it was just bandits versus merchants. Unfortunately. Um, oh, uh, yeah, I'll take it. I'll take it. I mean, what, what's going to happen, right? So, yeah, like I said, this is one of those places that you come to if you want to get rich quick. I will not take clothing. It's against my house rules. I will take food, though. So they're still standing there, so I need to be careful. Might have missed one or one or two guys, but I'm not too worried about that. So yeah, none of the merchants seem to have any money. So they took the money, actually. So like I said before, they actually go after cash and they, they definitely take the weapons. Because the weapons actually drop as uh, separate items. That could be the merchant. Anyway, that, I'm gone. Okay, so we're going to go to Ujits. Um, I will try to... I will try to learn to read and then we'll see what happens. 
arm got chopped off. Well, it wasn't just the arm that got chopped off during all those times I got killed. Not just the arm. Uh, let me borrow our room. Oh, I, I didn't. I'm not wearing my uh, my scarf. All right, so let me go get a horse, and also let me put on my bloody my bloody scarf. Yeah, that's a bit better. Kind of look like naked. Kind of looked a little bit naked there. Okay, so I don't know if I should do the quest for uh, for the horse. Um, yeah, let's do that. I mean, it's only been a day, right? It's only been a day since we spoke about Philip, so I think it takes like uh, three days or something to die. So if you take it longer than, say, a, I think it's a worst a week. If you take longer than a week to go, to go back to Philip, he'll basically he'll basically be dead. Same with the guy with a broken leg. So both of them need to be done ASAP. This right here in Ujit is the cheapest horse in the game. 500 groschen. That's it. Uh, that's, must be this guy then. Brown horse then. Okay, fine. It is. This is this is probably is a decent horse. He's certainly better than any horse you can steal. Okay, tier one. So yeah, basically horses are divided into different tiers. This is the cheapest that one horse. You can have cheap. He ain't too strong or fast for that matter. But he's as loyal as they come though. He's mad. Okay, we'll buy. Done. Okay, now we also need to buy a saddle and stuff like that. But I will save on my cash. Now the thing about buying a horse is that you can actually call it now. You can actually call the horse. Yay. There you go. I'm not gonna bother with anything. We're just gonna ride wild. So let's find this 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 guy's horse. It shouldn't take us too long. I know exactly where it is. Bearing in mind that Philip is dying, by the way. So yeah, we need to be yeah. to be pretty quick about this. Oh, I need to speak to the. Oh. So this will teach us how to ride a horse. Jesus Christ! How's the head? So even strangers know my shape. Come on then, come and take a closer look at Vashek the Blockhead. I'm not here to mock. So what is it you want? I promised the head groom that I'd look for a pie. Well, good luck with that. I've been searching half the day. Although I have been seeing double him since that bang on the head. So it's possible I missed something. Can you describe pie for me? Uh, Long face, <laughs> four legs. Yeah, he's dumb. Took a quite a. You did hit your head hard, didn't you? <laughs> yes. Why? I asked you to describe Pi. Not every horse in the world. Sorry, he's a dappled grey, a stallion, and he's really fast. Though that won't help you much. Quite the opposite. Where did you fall off, Pi? Just south of here. Between the fields and the woods, there's a crossroads where four paths meet. It was around there. Four paths? So we could have gone anywhere. Now you see my problem. When was that? In the morning. Then I staggered about for a while, feeling as rough as a boar's ass. I was glad to stagger back here in the end. Um... Fine. I'll go and look for him. Thanks. If you find him, the groom might go easier on me. Oh, and one more thing. Well? Pie's used to taking the bridle way, so I'd keep to those. That's useful. Thanks. Good luck to you. Okay, so bridle ways in this case means the roads, the forest roads. I didn't know what that meant early on. And also, having a horse means that we can actually avoid um, running into ambushes. You can pretty much avoid any fight if you want now. Still fresh. Reputation lost. Oh shit! I think something's happened. Oh shit! I think I, I think I was happened. I get the feeling that uh, Philip is dead. Reputation lost. Um. Crap. Yeah. All right. Let me let me go back down to to Sasa immediately. Never mind sleeping or whatever. I'll find the horse. What are you doing here? Good day to you. What do you need? Have you seen a horse running loose? A dappled grey? I have, I have indeed. 
Or at least I did see a riderless horse gallop through here. It went too fast for me to be sure of the color. Where did you see him? A short distance down the road, there's a brook. I was there fetching water when that horse gave me the fright of my life. And where did he run onto? Well, he splashed about and then ran upstream into the woods. Much obliged. My pleasure. Good luck in your search. May the Lord watch oh, you. I'll have think... to get something to eat. I'm starting to get hungry. Yeah, I'm sure the Phillips just died. I'm sure the Phillips just died. Um, let me load. I don't want to. I don't want to have Philip die. I guess we'll dump the heavy weapons and then get the, get the heck out of here. We'll just go straight south to Scallets. He's meant to take at least several days to die. And it's only been like maybe maybe one and a half days. I guess that means that going to Sasau actually means an auto auto fail then for that. Sorry, I meant uh, if you go up to Ujits, it becomes an auto fail. So yeah, trying to learn to read seems to be a bit of a problem. Anyway, experiment tested. Yeah, it turns out that if you actually end up at Ujit, Philip dies. I'm just out of here though. Unfortunately, unfortunately, there are some quests that are actually timed. Not just the main quest, but yeah, In God's Hands is actually... It's actually a fairly important one. Same with um, God's House as well. You have to actually be there when you say you're going to be there. Otherwise, otherwise things don't quite work out. Philip's life is at stake here. Can't be sitting there picking flowers. Oh, invisible wall, I think. Oh, shit. <laughs> oh, uh, I took real damage there. I took some real damage. Yep. Um. Lol, maintenance improved. So yes, I was I was just attacked by physics, unfortunately. Okay, hopefully there won't be another fight, right? I really don't want to have to do this again. <laughs> oh, those guys. Especially with broken ankles. So I, I guess this is another similarity between uh, The Long Dark and uh, KCD. Yeah, fragile ankles. Ah, uh, that's a fight. So it's Kumans versus someone else. You know what? Forget the loot. I have, I've got enough money. Nobody sees me, lol. Nobody sees the guy sprinting in the forest. But yeah, physics in games is funny. As in weird. Not as in haha -ha funny, right? It's only haha -ha when the enemy dies. <laughs> when you die, it's a uh, sad haha. -ha. Alright, so we got away. Me ankles. Shit. <laughs> Don't fall. Okay, there could be another fight here. Oh, oh my! I'm I'm bleeding now. I'm literally bleeding. Oh, what? What? Wait a second. Um, no, that hasn't cured bleeding. I'm bleeding two in two places. Okay, I'm not bleeding anymore. <laughs> okay, yeah. So, be careful about dropping down. Especially if you're playing hardcore with that particular negative perk. Alright, we're back. Um, let's speak to Nicodemus. I always forget names and places. Funny. You used to be able to speak to Nicodemus. And he would actually make the potion for you. But now you have to do it yourself. Which is a bit of a problem when I can't read. I can't read. Okay, can I repair? Ah, uh, okay, so what do I need? Uh, wormwood and sage. Anyway, there's uh, there's wormwood over here. Alright, uh, is this sage? I need some sage over here. Where can I find some sage? Alright, you bloody game. I'll... Time is of the essence. Okay, let me, let me step outside. Let's see if there's some sage outside. There should be. Sage, sage. Does anybody have any sage advice? Lol. <laughs> oh, the puns. The puns. I think you find sage in the forest. Yeah, there's lots. This place is Wormwood Central, by the way. 
Uh, what does Sage look like? <laughs> Might actually help if I knew that. I think it's bluish flowers. Like like that. Yeah, yeah, that's that Sage. There you go. Look at that. So I just need a few. Okay, and we have plenty of wormwood, so... Um, although there was a big patch over here. Yeah, so let me just pick these guys up. Oh yeah, big patch. Let's see how many we pick up, actually. Oh, I expect I'll at least pick up the guy behind me, but no. Herbalism. Give me a poik. Supposedly that's the new, new New York accent. Flower power. No. Um, so you want to save. So you, you get these two perks at level 10. So you want to save at one perk. Because yeah, this is useful and this is this is a must. You can get plus two charisma, but it's not really good. You can get this, but it's not really good. So yeah, I'm going to save. I'm going to save to level 10. But level 5 should mean that I should be able to pick up more than one. Okay, let me test this. Over here. There's like a couple over there. There's a couple over there. The range should be big enough to pick up at least a couple. No, it isn't. <laughs> Sucks to be me. Okay, I've got enough herbs to, to get this done. Now the question is, can I actually read? So the first line says, you will need spirits. Uh, two handfuls of wormwood and a handful of sage. Drop in the sage and boil for one turn. Okay, fine. And also grind the wormwood. Okay, grind the wormwood. Two wormwood, grind it. So one turn with sage, then stick the wormwood. And two more turns, okay. Okay, so two wormwood. So this is one of the best alchemy systems in any game. It, uh, it follows a very logical approach. It's not perfect, but yeah, it's, uh, it's very good. We'll put on the dish. So one of the problems is that you only have one dish. There are there are occasions where you have to actually use two dishes, or the equivalent of two dishes, and you don't have any. Okay, sage for one turn, and then drop the wormwood and cook for two turns. Then still. All right. So let's see, sage. Okay. Now you need to pull this for three turns in order to get it to cook. Now I'm going to do a 4 and 5. That will let it cook for 2 turns. Put that in there. And uh, turn the sand glass. I pick that up. Now when that gets close to finishing. Stick that. And one more. One more turn. That should be a total of 3 turns. Okay, now I need to bear in mind that it took a bit of time to pull this and then turn down its head. Let's do that. It should stop cooking in a bit. That should be about right. And still. That should be an Artemisia potion. Yes, oh, Artemisia. Yeah. Alright. How many did I make though? Two. So that wasn't perfect. So if you get it perfect, it gives you three, but that wasn't perfect, but it's good enough. Okay, I missed the potion. He's gonna live. Okay, so we saved Philip. Now we need to worry about the guy with the broken leg. Um, I need one comfrey. I know what it is. That's what the stonemason needs. But yeah, if you read the book, you'll see that you need purple flowers. I mean, he did tell us something about purple flowers and whatnot. But if you read the herbarium, you can actually see. It'll all have to be replaced. 
but at least the rest of the house is all right. Okay, now we'll give him that. Oh, well, it's you. Hopefully, I have what you need. Thank you. With any luck, I'll soon be feeling better. If you find the time, stop by to see me in a few days. Goodbye. Excellent. Um, hopefully nobody died, right? Uh, why is this loading? I get worried when it's loading. That usually means something's happened. Oh. Dear Mistress Johanka. Ah, oh, shit. I've come again in admiration of your selfless dedication. I would like to invite you to a fine banquet at my palace. You certainly have earned some... What business have you here, fellow? Who let you in? There's a lot of detail. The There's a lot of detail in this game. As I'm sure you're aware. Ah. Well then, run along and take care of them and let me talk to your hunker. You're not needed here. Now, if you had good if you had a good enough speech skill, then yeah. Now, normally I would actually just go to jail. But I won't do that because the guy with the broken leg is still there. So he he'll he'll die. All right. right, intrude, custodian. That's what I like to hear. Well, your hunker has my invitation, so I look forward to seeing her soon. Bloody your hunker. Wait, did they say anything? Oh, let me see. Do they say anything, or is that it? Okay, I guess that's it. Good health to you. Ah, uh, we can speak to my supplies. Can't speak to... No, not the custodian. But yeah, Johanka does get kind of prissy with you, even if you do stand up for her. And get sent to jail, of course. Henry! What? That custodian, Sebastian, is really obnoxious. He can be unpleasant, but in his own way, I don't know. You can't be serious. What's that supposed <laughs> to mean? At least he was here, unlike you, the whole time. And anyway, mind your own business. Yes, yes, she does actually sleep with him. Although she ends up regretting it afterward. Alright, so let's go. We need to... let's see, what is the other one? Right, so we need to... let's see. So semi... oh, Semic was cured, okay. So there you go, Semic was cured. Actually, let's 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 see if Philip is is actually done. Um, that's it. Second monster of food. The infirmary guy. Um, yeah, the wounded guy. So I need to speak to. Used to be the case that you could speak to um, Nicol, uh, Nicodemus, and they would actually he would just reset the leg. You didn't have to go speak to the executioner. But okay, so be it. Two hours. Let's let's see if Philip is okay now. But yeah, there's a lot of things that have changed. He's okay, let's see. Uh, he doesn't say much, okay. I think that uh, Semek was cured line is basically generic. But yeah, you have to wait a little bit. So let's go Let's go speak to the executioner. We have time, right? Yeah, this time. We should be able to make it back. 